Avara, you're a United Reformed Church minister. When I first met you, you were working in pastoral charge and regularly preaching. And then one day you had a very public and um, frightening experience. It was during communion and I had um, given the words of institution um, and I had gone to pick up the elements to distribute them and I couldn't see them. Well, I wasn't sure what was going on at all. I was very perplexed about the whole thing. And then in actual fact, I thought perhaps I had a brain tumour. No, it wasn't. It was um, the fact that I've got early onset of dementia. It was a horrible thing to hit, wasn't it? I felt as if I'd been hit by a 20-tonne truck. Mm, sure. And because there isn't a cure, just thinking, so what happens? Right. What next? You try to immediately... You start planning for the future because that's what's recommended by the clinicians you know make sure you've got everything your power of attorney start writing a will if you haven't already done so um some people encourage you to plan your funeral you saw a consultant from the uh, occupational therapy who who really rather put a damper on things for you didn't he basically what happened was i was written off during the occupational health assessment, and um, it was basically said that I would be that they would recommend mm -hmm. that I should be um, discharged under the grounds of ill health. But you weren't prepared to accept that that was the end. So I actually had to remind him that under the Disability Act, that he had to talk to me about the things that I could potentially do, and was willing to do. I think the church has got a huge role to play because it's about communities coming together um, for people, it enables people to walk alongside people in a really hard journey, which is different for everybody. Everybody's um, journey is different, but there are commonalities about it. Um, and actually, I believe that Jesus would have been walking alongside people with dementia. But is there are practical things too. A practical example is having large print, not um, hymn books per se, but if you large print um, hymn sheets, yeah, really simple because it helps people access them. And whatever people do, please ask the people with dementia what they would like. I really hope there would be an engagement by communities, the church community, to walk alongside people with dementia and their families to affirm their worth, to seek out what people can still do. Churches can give meaning for why for the reason to get up in the morning because they know they're going to interact with other people, they'll have engagement with people. Yeah, churches, I think huge churches are in a, a really good position to walk, to talk and um, help people actually.